Now, <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up next weekend, and many people around the country are looking for ways to make the holiday memorable for their special someone. And there to give a little help and answer some open letters from fans, it's our very own love guru, Joseph Cupid Ray. Hello. Hi, everybody. It's very great to be here. Hi, how are you guys doing? So, Joseph, what makes you qualified to talk on the subject of love? Right, so uh, I, uh, I've been in a committed relationship since my sophomore year of high school. <laughs> Hi, Mary, baby girl. This is a salted caramel pretzel on a stick. <laughs> I, so I, I just think I'm, I'm pretty good with relationships. Uh, so what are you guys' plans for, uh, for Valentine's Day? I mean, actually, um, since yesterday, I matched with three girls on Tinder, and they all told me they loved me already, so I'm set. <laughs> well, I'm spending it with my beloved, me. Uh, and let me tell you, I know how to push all of my buttons. <laughs> oh, uh, anyways, uh, here's your first question. Ah, right. So uh, we have uh, Dear Love Guru, I feel like my boyfriend and I have been going pretty distant lately. I'm scared he's going to ghost me. What should I do to ensure that this Valentine's Day turns our relationship around? That is from Caroline. Well, Caroline, the only way to ensure a great day for you and your boo baby is to take all of those feelings that are causing you so much worry and pain and suffering, and you just you stuff them way deep down in your soul. <laughs> and when you are with your significant other, you just make sure you never talk about them. You just you pretend like everything is fine. And that, that's what I do in my relationship. And me and my Wendy's four for four spiced chicken sandwich have, were inseparable. Joseph. That doesn't sound too great. Are things good between you and Mary? Right, yeah. We're, we're fantastic. <laughs> I'd, I'd really prefer you don't push any further. So let's go on to our, our second question, which, uh, dear, uh, oh wait, actually, I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is, this is a, I, I, one moment, please. Okay. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of a show right now. Could we, like, right now, the, uh, oh. uh, everything okay there, Cupid? It, it seems like me and my little Wayne are no longer together. <laughs> oh, Joseph, I'm so sorry. Do you want to maybe, I don't know. No, no, no. Please, I'll be fine. The show, the show must go on. Uh, the next question. Um, <laughs> Dear Guru, my girlfriend recently broke. <laughs> what are some tips for getting back in the dating game? I, I, I suppose that I should know that now. I'm single again. <laughs> Joseph, you really don't have to continue. Shh, no, no, this is getting good. Thomas. <laughs> What? Look, okay, I like dating me, okay? But things are getting kind of repetitive. Let me live vicariously. Hey, who are you calling? <laughs> Hello, Kate Jewelers. <laughs> uh, what, I, I heard you guys have a 30-day return policy on wedding rings for <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wonderful. I'll, I'll be there in like 45 minutes. <laughs> and, our next question. Dear Guru, I'm single. <laughs> should I, should I look for a Valentine? No, Sally, you should not. <laughs> you spend that day looking at all those other couples around you. You think of the time when you were happy. <laughs> you wander around in your depressive state and you go up to your room with a bucket of ice cream and you spend that night there. You shovel that ice cream right into the disgusting pie hole. <laughs> sit there alone, the same way you're gonna die. Okay, can someone just take him off the set? I think we're, okay, he's taking a call, Never mind. Hello, Mrs. Welch. Yeah, I, I just, I wanted to let you know that your daughter is a heartbreaking wench, is a horrible person, and I know that you never liked me because I'm not mature. 
as I play Dungeons and Dragons at the Thanksgiving dinner table. I hope that you rot in hell. We got one more question, don't we? Um, <sighs> Joseph, I really don't think you're in the right mindset to be giving Valentine's Day advice. We got one more question. Hey, okay, never mind then. Dear Guru, how should I tell my girlfriend that I love her? Dear Mark, who the hell cares? Grow <laughs> up. This is a, do you, you got, it's a chemical reaction. You're, you, you're, you're piles of stardust and, you know, you'll... You'll, you'll, you'll find somebody, you'll fall in love, and you'll, you'll grow apart, and they'll leave you, and you'll grow older and more lonely, and it's a vicious cycle, and then you'll die. And then you're just back to being the dust. I have a question. How do I get back with my ex-girlfriend? Anybody? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the love guru. <laughs>